Hi there. I'm making this video in memory of Bob Miller, but also because I did a meditation and prayed and I asked, how can I help? How can I offer something to those of us that Bob left behind? And, you know, I haven't shared with a lot of you, but I am an ordained minister and I've done a lot of grief work in my past. Um, when I was an undergraduate, I did some volunteer work, do, just doing grief work. And I'm also a life coach and soon to be a happiness coach. So I just want to use what I know and what's in my heart to try to help us all through some of this. So what are we doing? What are we going through? It's, it's called grief work. Um, and there's some all kinds of information, resources that we can pull from to learn more about it, but just coming together as a family is the best thing we can do. It's the most awesome thing we can do for each other is to lift each other up. And I can encourage all of us to keep doing that. And I'm very thankful for those who have stepped up and are helping to lead us at this time. So what are those stages of grief that we're all going to be going through because you know, it's so important to recognize what's happening to us once we lose somebody. And the very first one is accepting it. Um, if you're like me, as soon as you heard the news, the first thing was denial. No, it can't be true. Yeah, I woke up to people giving me condolences about losing Bob, and I'm, I'm going, Bob who? You know, never in my wildest dreams would I have thought it would have been him, but it was. And then, of course, there were so many questions. Why, you know, can, is this real? Did it really happen? And is this a joke? So the very first thing is to accept it, to accept that it is real. Yes, it happened. I woke up this morning and it, yeah, it was still the same. It did happen. And so dealing with that in, in a mental way, as well as letting our hearts wrap around that fact that, you know, things are going to be different now. Things are going to change because this person is no longer here in our physical life. Um, he is still here, just not in that same goofy, wonderful body, um, you know, that, that physical essence that we knew as Bob. So accepting the reality of the loss, that's number one. That's a biggie you know, for a lot of us and many people stay in that denial stage for so long. And it's important to move past it. It's important to, to really get a grip on it and say, yeah, it did happen. Yes, it's real. And then we can comfort each other because we know that it, it, it happened and we're all going through it together. And it's not something that happened to us. That's important also. You know, this is not something that was done to us. This is something that happened. Death is a fact of life. We're, none of us are going to get out of this alive. It's going to happen to every living thing. So the more we can realize that and accept that also, then it's, it's going to be a lot easier, but um, just we're more able to accept it as a fact. And then the next thing is working through that grief. Um, if you're like me, you cried. You know, today's been a better day, and I I thought about not doing a video because I've been so emotional, and I know I look a wreck, but what would Bob do? What would Bob do? He would, you know, get up, he would make that video every morning. So I'm not to focus on anything physical, any ego thing right now. It's all just to get the message out. So working through the pain of grief, yes, it's painful. It's very painful. Um, knowing that we're not going to be able to reach out and touch him, reach out and call him, text him, whatever, you know, go online, listen to him, chat with him. Um, that's going to be painful. That's going to leave a void in a lot of our lives because he was very powerful. 
his light shone so brightly and you know when a light like that is not in the place where it used to be for us at a particular time um, or any time that we needed him but especially at those particular times when we're so used to going on and spending time with him then it, it causes pain it causes a void so working through that is going to be so important letting the tears flow letting the words out um, you know there's there's so much that goes along with grief and especially a death and you might feel guilty for feeling angry don't don't feel guilty about anything that you're experiencing right now in your grief don't feel guilty about the tears don't feel guilty guilty about being angry that he's gone you know I talked to one of his friends and she was like I'm going to kick him in the, in the ass okay do do that do that put him right there in front of you and give him that swift kick in the ass uh, for leaving you you know but don't look at it as something he did to you work through that you know get that out of your system do it whatever it takes punch a bag punch a pillow whatever you need to do to get rid of that anger to work through that anger and those emotions do it if you need to call somebody and talk for hours do it you know whatever it takes to work through that pain of, of the guilt and then the next thing is adjusting adjusting to an environment without this person um, you know like I said so many of us were used to uh, at that particular time going online and there was Bob waking up in the morning and there he was you know posting his gratitude for the day and so now it's an adjustment for all of us we have to adjust to the fact that things are not the same anymore things are not the same as they used to be so working through that uh, together will be easier we all know that it's not going to happen so you know we we won't go through that day expecting it but we can lean on each other we can lift up each other and share with each other how we're feeling and what we're going through there's just so much with grief work but accepting it and working through it is so important and having the support and offering support to each other that's extremely important um, you know being there knowing who you can count on to be there um, who's going to who's going to pick up the phone and call you or who can you pick up the phone and call just to commiserate just to share funny stories sad stories um, anything you know relating to this person that was in your life that was so important in your life and then rebuilding your faith you know that's important also because Bob was so strong in his faith and he knew exactly who he was he knew why he was here he knew he had a purpose and he shared that purpose so strongly with all of us and so what would Bob do Bob would say find that in you find that strength in you and there's going to be sadness you know, for a while just accept that have Kleenex with you at all times and uh, laugh you know laugh the more we laugh the easier it will be Bob was all about laughter so remember funny times with him remember why he made us laugh the things we laughed about and for any of you that need me I'm here I love you <laughs>